Hi everyone, this is Michael with the Central Kansas Library System. Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. Today we're going to be talking about patrons' circulation history, or in other words, whether or not a patron's account shows the items that they have checked out in the past, or whether it deletes that. Those are privacy settings. Keep in mind that those settings can't be changed by library staff from the staff side of the catalog. The only way to change those settings is to go to the patron side, log into the patron's account, and make the change there. So whether you are a library staff member or you're a patron who wants to make a change to whether or not the history is saved on your account, I'm going to show you how that works and walk you through the process. Let's take a look. The first thing we need to do is get to the patron catalog so that we can log in. One of the ways you can do this is by going to your web browser and in the web address bar you can type in your town's name dot catalog dot cklss dot org. So for example for the town of Agra we're going to put agra dot catalog dot cklss dot org. Remember that it's going to use your town name and not necessarily your library name. And if you enter that in, you will go directly to the catalog for that library. Another option that we have is you can just type in catalog.ckls.org and you should get redirected to this page which will allow you to choose which library you want to use. I'm just going to use the Central Kansas Library System catalog for now. So you get first get to the page and you will see a home page that's got some new items displayed. We want to go over and click on the sign in button and we are going to need to fill in a username and a password in order to sign in. For most patrons the username is going to be their library card number and the password is going to be whatever is set as the password on their library account. I've just entered the information for one of my test accounts and then we would just need to click on sign in but if you're not sure what your password is, we can always go here to the reset your password and it's going to ask us to enter our username or our library card number and the email that's on their account. Keep in mind you will have to have an email set on your patron account in order for this to work and if you don't have an email on your account you will need to contact your home library and they will have to reset your password for you. But let's go back to the sign in screen and I'm going to sign in to this account and it takes me to the My Account Summary page and we want to look for on the side down there towards the bottom of your account where it says Reading History. Let's click on that and now we see a summary of the reading history. I'm not saving my reading history so what I have is this blue box with a description and it talks about the importance of privacy and you need to know that the Central Kansas Library System and all of our member libraries take patron privacy very very seriously and so all of this reading history information is considered strictly confidential if you do save it but if you have any concerns about that it's best to not save your reading history on your account and keep track of it somewhere else but let's say I want to start rec recording my history so that I can view it and so that library staff can view it on their side I'm going to click on start recording my reading history and now we'll notice that all of the items that I have checked out right now have appeared on my reading history and I can look through to see what my history looks like. If I am saving my history and I do not want to do that any longer, I can come over here to these two red options. I can choose to either delete all, which will clear my current history but keep saving my history in the future, or I can click on stop recording my reading history which will delete everything and stop recording it in the future. If I want to, I can also delete individual items from my reading history by clicking on the blue delete button, but you do need to keep in mind that deleting an individual item here is not going to delete it from the staff side. So if you do want to delete something from the staff side, you will have to stop recording your reading history and that's the only way to clear it so that staff can't see it. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or anyone else here at CKLS and we will help you out. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.